Well, we are just one day into the state's indoor mask mandate and certain rules are leaving residents and local health officials with more concerns than answers tonight. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan joins us live with details on what some view as a discrepancy in the mandate. Kristen. Keely, as the Associated Press reports, San Francisco is exempt from requiring fully vaccinated people to wear a mask indoors at gyms and at work. Now, we reached out to the California Department of Public Health about this, and they provided us this statement right here, telling us in part, every county must either have in place their own indoor masking requirement, regardless of vaccination status, or follow the state updated guidance that took effect yesterday. As you know, some local public health departments already have indoor masking requirements in place and those remain in place. But as medical officials in town tell us, being vaccinated may not be enough of a shield from Omicron. It does not make a lot of sense from a scientific point of view. Those words coming from Chief Medical Officer of Kern Medical, Dr. Glenn Goldis. He's speaking on AP's latest report that San Francisco will have certain exemptions to California's new indoor mask mandate. The agency says city officials there report 90% of the eligible population has at least one dose of the vaccine. Meanwhile, Kern County Public Health reports that of the area's eligible population, 57.6% have at least one dose. But he says one or even two doses may not be enough to combat variants like Delta and now Omicron. It essentially states that the ability for you to fight off Omicron with just the two shot primary series is just not adequate. And so the likelihood of you getting sick is remains almost the same as if you hadn't been vaccinated when it comes to this particular variant. That's the concern. Um, and that's why, however, when you do get boosted, it makes all the difference. Such a difference that Chief Medical Officer of Mercy Hospitals Bakersfield, Dr. Hamal Kothari, expects to see a rise in hospitalizations in the area. Plus, in California, if not all state mandates are created equal, he says, it can cause a divide. You'll get other cities that will say, well, hey, I'm vaccinated in my city. Why do I have to wear a mask? And San Francisco doesn't. So, and I think when you start making exceptions to a certain city, I think that puts you know, more of a doubt in people's minds that there's something funny going on. Meanwhile, Cal OSHA rolling out an extension of COVID-19 regulations in the workplace. The update requires employees vaccinated or not be sent home for quarantine if they test positive for COVID-19, even if they're asymptomatic. Dr. Cothery says with vaccine mandates already depleting their nursing staff, they're going to need all hands on deck, especially with an expected winter surge in cases. If you're if you're a, not vaccinated at all and you wear an N95 mask, which which is what we require would require of you, the chances are very slim. If you are vaccinated and you wear a regular mask, the chances are also very slim. He expects there to be, quote, nuance with this rule as more information is revealed about Omicron and it will be necessary. I think what will end up happening is what happened during our first wave where the California Department of Public Health said, hey, if you're if you have the virus, but you're asymptomatic, you can still come to work, wear a mask. I think something similar is going to allow where they're going to say, hey, if you've been vaccinated, and you, you test positive and you're asymptomatic, you can still wear a mask and come to work. Now, Dr. Cothery does point out that the study on Omicron from Mass General that both he and Dr. Goldis referred to is fairly new and not peer reviewed yet.